Oi, stop injecting politics into my unprecedented and catastrophically wild weather phenomena. Linking ex-tropical cyclone Alfred to climate change is nothing more than quasi-religious hysteria. Or at least that's what some Liberal MPs and Sky News commentators would like you to think. But what does the science say? Well, in truth, it isn't quite as simple as hotter climates equal more cyclones, but there is still definitely a link. As Alfred approached the coast of Queensland and New South Wales, there was a lot of worry about brutal Category 2 winds ripping through buildings. However, by the time it made landfall, it had been downgraded to a tropical low, which should have been a relief. But actually, it was the massive amounts of rain Alfred brought that ended up being the real destructive force, with floodwaters engulfing whole streets and causing mass evacuations. In fact, Monday was the wettest day in Brisbane in 50 years. And this is one of the big things about cyclones that climate change does affect. We already know that for every degree of warming, the atmosphere can hold 7% more water. But because raindrops give off energy when they form, this effect is amplified in certain stormy weather systems, making it closer to 50 more rain for every degree we go up. Cyclones can only form when ocean temperatures are at or above 26.5 degrees. So the hotter the Earth is, the further north and south they can go. But because there are a bunch of other conditions cyclones need to form, the evidence we have so far actually suggests that climate change is making them less frequent. Unfortunately, it also means that when they do form, they're likely to be more intense, last longer, and wreak more havoc. Ex-tropical cyclone Alfred has caused significant damage, but on the whole, things could have been worse. We escaped somewhat lightly. But it's not a political lecture or hysteria to point out that because of the effects of man-made climate change, it's becoming less and less likely that we'll be that lucky the next time a big one hits.